Welcome to the fantastic world of Neom. It's an explosion of new ideas and goals racing towards the future at breakneck speed. In the middle of Saudi Arabia, this city project is a shining example of how to build a sustainable city. Imagine a scene shaped by tall buildings, futuristic designs, and cutting-edge technology. Some big names in Neom get extra attention including Sindala, The Line, Trigina, and Oxagon. These amazing structures are more than just buildings. They are the very heart of Neom's big idea with an estimated cost of $500 billion. Every brick and beam is a sign of a future where progress and ecology work together. Come with us as we go deep into the building story of Neom, where every project is not only important, but also a key piece in the puzzle of making the world of tomorrow. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman made an announcement on a mega city project called Neom. The initiative aims to create a metropolis that is both futuristic and sustainable, implementing cutting-edge technology while also preserving the environment. With the goal of becoming a global hub for innovation, the city intends to attract firms, inhabitants, and tourists from all over the world. Neom's recent declaration that 20% of the total project has been finished represents a key milestone in the speedy development. The milestone is an important measure of how far Neom has come in its development. This not only demonstrates the successful execution of a number of different programs, but it also paves the way for the city's continued expansion. It is also remarkable that the success of individual projects, such as Sindala and the Line City, has played a significant role in influencing the general direction of Neom. The latest construction updates for the Line City a significant component of Neom's master plan is the Line City, which is intended to have a population density of 9 million people while occupying a small footprint. The ambitious proposal for the Line City entails the creation of a city on a footprint of 34 square kilometers with an emphasis on the preservation of nature and sustainability. As part of its goal to preserving 95% of the natural environment and transitioning to a sustainable energy source, Neom has established stringent criteria for this urban development. An examination of the photographs that were taken at the building site reveals a busy atmosphere that is occupied by thousands of trucks and excavators that are working throughout the day and night. With a focus on environmentally responsible methods, the metropolis that is 170 kilometers long and 200 meters wide is making tremendous growth. Neom's partner in water and power named Inoa is helping the company fulfill its goals for renewable energy. The construction of transmission towers for renewable energy were transported by helicopters in five pieces, and they are an example of Neom's dedication to the concept of sustainable development. Underground transportation system. Significant alterations have been made to the underground transit system, which has resulted in a reduction in the length of the tunnel, as well as the number of stations from 48 to nine. In addition to bringing Neom's dedication to innovation into alignment, these modifications are intended to improve efficiency. The Solar Dome's facility for desalination has been built by Neom. This facility is capable of transforming salty seawater into fresh water, which is then made available at an inexpensive price. It is consistent with Neom's commitment to sustainability and solving the difficulties of water shortage that this program is being undertaken. The building of the Line City is a big project and includes more than 60,000 construction workers on site, in addition to more than 3,000 personnel from 90 different countries. Images captured by satellites demonstrate considerable increases in the accommodations available to the worker force. These developments include healthcare facilities, gyms, and retail malls. General obstacles and prospects for the future. Even with the incredible progress that has been made, there are still problems that need to be overcome, such as accommodating a huge crew in a desert climate and ensuring that the project is finished on schedule. The first project under Neom to be finished is Sindala, which is a luxury island project that is scheduled to make its debut in 2024. This project carries a significant amount of significance. An 86 berth marina, 51 luxury outlets, and a variety of amenities such as a beach club, a yacht club and a spa are some of the things that Sindala plans to have in order to become a luxury island destination. Because of its one-of-a-kind attractions and its limited availability, 
the island is well positioned to attract travelers. The nine-hole beachfront golf course that will be located on Sindala Island is being developed by Neom in collaboration with IMG Golf Course Services. Additionally, Neom's commitment to providing a world-class experience on the island is demonstrated by the company's partnerships with JLS Yachts and Royal Tent Middle East. When looking at the films and satellite photographs that are now accessible, it is clear that construction activity is still going on and container ships are bringing in goods. There has been significant progress made as seen by the development of the golf course and the construction of various individual structures. The demands of the workers who are participating in the project have been addressed by the establishment of a labor force community on an island that is located close to Sindala. The temporary structures provided by Royal Tent Middle East offer the fundamental amenities that are necessary for the well-being of the workforce. The success of Sindala is essential for the entire development of Neom. It is the first project that is scheduled to make its debut in 2024. When Sindala is finished, it will most likely pave the path for the success of other initiatives that are being undertaken within the city. Leia, Epicon, Serana, Utamo, Norlana, Zardun, and Zaynor are some of the additional territories that have been added as part of the development of Neom. Leia is located along the coast of the Gulf of Aqaba. It is also presented as the most recent tourist destination to be offered by Neom. In this location, there are three hotels that have been designed by renowned architects. These hotels are eco-friendly, blend in with their surroundings, and provide one-of-a-kind experiences. The amazing towers that were developed by Ten Design may be found at Epicon, which is situated on the Gulf of Aqaba. The ultra-premium hotel will have 41 rooms together with elegant apartments and a resort that will combine tranquility and elegance. A hotel with 65 rooms and private apartments are both available at Serana, which is designed for people who are looking to connect with nature. Guests will be able to take in breathtaking vistas of the Red Sea, which are framed by hexagonal pillars that rise from the coastal topography. Within the mountains is where you'll find Utamo, a place that focuses on the arts and entertainment. Utamo, which is outfitted with cutting-edge audiovisual equipment, has the intention of hosting artists from all over the world and offering a one-of-a-kind venue for cultural and entertainment events. The coastal village of Norlana, which is located along the Gulf of Aqaba, is portrayed as a prestigious waterfront enclave that centers around a marina. Norlana is characterized by its elegant and comfortable ambiance, which is contributed to by the villas that line the seaside. There is a floating marina and an underwater open plaza at Aquellum, which promises to be a hidden world concealed within a mountain range that is 450 meters high. Within the confines of this one-of-a-kind environment, guests will journey vertically at a height of 100 meters. Since its inception on January 24, 2024, Zardin has been a prestigious sanctuary resort that encompasses a total area of four square kilometers. The mission is to reimagine the concept of luxury ecotourism by providing high-end experiences while simultaneously rehabilitating natural flora and fauna. It is promoted as an exclusive beachside club and Zaynor is situated along the coastline of the Gulf of Aqaba. In this pure and meticulously kept environment, guests are able to relax and take in the unspoiled beauty of the ocean. Located close to the north of the its region, Trojina is a projected ski resort that will cover an area of 60 square kilometers. The Asian Winter Games are scheduled to take place there in 2012, and it is meant to provide skiing throughout the entire year. A substantial amount of progress has been achieved in the development of Trojina, with considerable excavation and detailed design work currently being carried out. The innovative projects that Neom has undertaken, such as Oxagon, which is a floating port city, display the company's dedication to the protection of the environment. The floating port city of Oxagon has the goal of establishing connections with ships that are traveling via the Suez Canal. The transportation of wind turbines to the Oxagon site for the purpose of assembly and installation is a demonstration of Neom's dedication to the preservation of the environment. The collaboration between Neom and Air Products for the generation of environmentally friendly hydrogen is a key step toward the development of sustainable energy solutions. The industrial city of Oxagon is on track to manufacture 600 tons of carbon-free hydrogen every single day by the year 2026. 
and there are ongoing plans to export green ammonia all over the world. The Connector South Rail Line will be constructed under a contract of $2 billion, which was given by Neom in order to improve the infrastructure of transportation. WeBuild, based in Italy, and Shib Al Jazeera Contracting, headquartered in Riyadh, are working together to construct this train line, which will connect Oxagon Industrial City with the main development. While Neom continues to make strides with groundbreaking initiatives, questions are being raised about the timely completion of projects and the overall feasibility of undertaking activities of such an ambitious kind. In this part of video, we will discuss potential obstacles and the actions that Neom intends to take in order to overcome them. The engagement of the community and the perception of the public become increasingly important as Neom continues to develop. A successful outcome for Neom is dependent not only on the development of infrastructure, but also on the participation of the community. A holistic approach to city planning can be ensured by the creation of areas that are designed to meet the needs of residents, workers, and visitors. Concerns and opinions of the general people have a key part in the process of Neom's transformation and introduction of new regions. To ensure the city's continued prosperity over the long term, it is important to address issues, encourage open communication, and incorporate comments from a wide range of community stakeholders. The ability of it to adjust and be flexible in response to shifting conditions will determine the company's prospects for the future. Within the scope of this part, we will investigate how Neom intends to deal with unanticipated obstacles and modify its techniques in order to continue making progress. A number of projects, including the Line City and Sindala, as well as new regions such as Leia and Zaynor, have made great progress, as seen by the construction update that it has provided for the year 2024. As a result of its dedication to sustainability, innovative initiatives, and community participation, New York City has established itself as a city that is both distinctive and transformative on the international scale. As difficulties arise, the narrative of this futuristic metropolis will be shaped by its capacity to overcome those difficulties and realize its lofty vision. The world is watching with eager expectation to witness the fulfillment of this groundbreaking urban development as it continues to undergo its course of development. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.